it's a nice brisk Sunday and I am headed to the cigar shop. Gotta lock my doors. Wanna come with? Cool. So yes, I have my mask and um, my lips are in it. That's the only thing, man. I have to find some lipstick that stays on my lips and does not rub completely off into my mask. I think my lips still look decent. Yeah, they do. All right, so here we are headed into Willie's Cigar Shop. Let's go in and see what I can find for today. All right, I'm in here in Willie's Cigar Shop, getting ready to see what I can find to go with my wine for today. Django. And can you tell me anything about this one? It's a Jamaican cheese star. It's nice. got that nice little seed instead of the uh, vanilla nose. It's okay. a little different. Okay. So it gets a little different taste in there than another cheese star would. So okay. All right. It doesn't matter the valley. Okay. And then if you want a little bit of light milk, that's good with champagne. Mm hmm. This is, this is the first cigar that I bought. It was actually a cigar that got me into cigars. All right. So as you guys can see, you better come on down to Willie's if you're in Hampton, Virginia. They got a nice room here. And you can sit in and enjoy your stick. So we're leaving out of here today. We're leaving out with four sticks. Don't pay my nails no mind. I need to repaint them because I'm um, washing dishes. But y'all see, I got my Tatiana again. Ah. Next up is World Market. Didn't really want to go to Total Wine today. And World Market has a nice selection of wines. So that's where we are headed now. Let's go in. Alrighty, so for those of you who may not have been in World Market to admonish their lovely wine selection, here we are. This is some of what they have. Nice little wine racks. Oh, I love this bar cart. I like that bar cart. I don't know that. Oh, it's actually kind of sturdy. All around. Look at that. Nice selection. Something for everyone's palate. Let's see. I'm thinking that today, gosh, do I want another Zinfandel? That red blend last weekend was absolutely phenomenal. Ooh, what about a Beaujolais? Hmm, who's to say what I'm gonna pick up today? We will find out on today's episode of Sample Sundays with Tea. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I'm outside, I got my little blanket on, I got my fuzzy socks on. I'm sitting outside on my porch. Um, it's chilly, but it's comfortable. I do wanna get um, something for the back porch, like, you know, so that we can sit out here. Like one of those gas operated um, heaters that you see at restaurants and stuff. I wanna get a couple of those. I've seen some on Amazon that I can use on a screened in porch. But as I sit out here, I'm like, you know what? It's not too, too bad because I got my blanket. I got my fuzzy socks on. I got my cigar. This is Groovy Blue by Tatiana. Um, welcome to another Sample Sundays with T. I am T, your host for the evening. You're probably going to see my little breath coming out because it's really chilly out here. Um... I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. I'm out here recording late. It's been a busy day, but a really good day. Um, I don't even know, y'all. It's after this crazy, crazy, crazy week that we all have witnessed. I just felt like, you know what? No matter what time it gets done, I have things that I need to do. I'm going to do them. I'm going to do them without stressing. And they'll, they'll get done. It, they will get done. I have to take care of me and I have to nurture myself, my mind, and keep everything cool, calm, and collected as possible. 
We are here for another Simple Sundays with Tea. Today we are having an old vine Zinfandel because I fell in love with the Paso Robles last week. Let me tell y'all, I have not been a huge fan of Zinfandels, but that one kind of me, won me over. This is Klein 2018 Old Vine Zinfandel. That's what we're going to be having today. Um, it's a red wine, of course. Uh, I'm having it with this. I went to Willie's Cigar Shop here in Virginia, and I was telling them that I'm having an Old Vine Zinfandel, and I asked them to, you know, recommend some cigars. Um, he actually recommended, it was called Django, which is, um, a... I forgot what he said it was infused with. I can't remember. But when I asked him if he had any berry flavor, because in my mind, berry was going to go with this wine. And I can't wait to try it. This stick is really good. Let me take a little drink. One moment. It tastes like blueberries, honey, Almost tastes like um, plums also. Really good. It leaves that sweetness right on the inside of your lip. I like that. But um, he gave me a different one to try. And I'm going to try that one. But today, I definitely wanted to have the berry. Because I figured it would go well with the Zinfandel. Let's see what we have here. That's pretty, really nice color. Let's tell you, let me tell you a little bit about this Zen. Okay, so Klein Family Cellars, and I did pull it up because um, I don't, it's kind of, it's dark out here besides my ring light and without my glasses, I need a little computer help y'all. So it's 14.5% ABV, um, is a, let me see, I believe, yes, it is a California wine and I'm excited to get into it. Um, I believe I saw that it was 91 um, points in taste, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to close my eyes because I was trying to remember. But I think it was 91 points in the taste, um, taste reviews. Let's see what we have here. As people say, it's the swirl for me. What do we have here? Ooh. Kind of smells like cherries. Even smells like kind of like a um, like prunes a little bit. Strawberries. Oh my god! It smells like a really really ripe black plum. Mm. I smell honey, I smell vanilla, and I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I'm smelling the honey from the wine or if I'm smelling the honey from the stick, but I'm getting honey, definitely that plum, prune, some cherries, let's get into it. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm, it's really jammy. Has like a little cinnamon undertone. Definitely taste the strawberries coming through. Those cherries are really bold on the nose. It's really smooth. Medium body. Has a really good finish. Let's see how it does with this cigar. Mm. This is good. Oh my gosh. Got a little tart grape just now. Mm. Mmm. 
that just brought out some almost like um I don't know like a blackberry flavor I'm trying to light my cigar again because my cigar went out hold on one second y'all it what is it with me and these doggone lighters okay I don't know. The struggle bus is here yet again. I swear it's because it's so cold out here. All right, we back in action. We are back in action. Back in stride again. I don't know what's going on with my, um. you know, I'm really tempted to take this lighter back. I really am. All right, we back. That close call, people. Close call. But anyway, back to this wine. So it's like I'm telling you, like the strawberry, that honey, and that tart grape. I'm glad I got this groovy blue. Now this is starting to taste more like strawberry. That is so crazy. I get some blueberry and I'm getting cinnamon undertones. Like it's crazy how they're balancing each other out. This is dope y'all. This right here, I, okay. So y'all know I love my heavier wines, my more bold reds. But I'm really starting to dig the Zinfandel. I don't know. I don't know. Should I switch? Did I switch? Why? Why switch when I could just add it to my collection? Look at that. I love the swirl. Mm -mm -mm. And let me tell you. It's almost like the cigar it's bringing out the sweetness of the wine. That's good. That sweetness that's right there on the inside of your mouth. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So now listen, plug in myself. I created a wine journal that works for me. And hopefully it will work for you guys. Cover, it just says wine that ash, wine tasting journal. On the inside, it has, this journal belongs to, your name will go there. It has all of my contact information here. And let me tell you why I'm excited. Because each page tells you what to put in it. Your wine name, the vintage of your wine, the region, the ABV, which this one I told you is 14.5%, really, really good. Um, I even went so far as to add cigar pairing, like what cigar did you have with your wine? What did the cigar taste like? And then what was your additional uh, experience that you witnessed while you were having this wine and cigar and food pairing? I wanted that because for me, I need to be able to write down the wine, what I thought about it, what cigar paired well with it, what food went well with it. And I had chili today for dinner. And so even when I go in, if I just got decided to get a little scoop of chili, this wine will pair very well with the chili. So I can write that down in here, like what foods I had with it. And it's a spicy chili. So that spice plays off of the sweetness of the wine. And then I might come back out here if I don't finish the cigar, which I'm probably gonna finish before I go in the house. My blanket is keeping me warm. My little fuzzy socks and slippers are keeping me warm. I'm good, y'all, I'm good. But 
I needed a wine journal that I could keep everything because if it's something that I really like, I want to be able to go back to my journal and remember where I got it from, how much I paid for it, why I remembered it, and that way I can go and get it again. Let me tell you, this right here, this has been a really good experience. That is really good. That's a good wine. And the jamminess, the tannins are soft, not a lot of acidity at all. I'm going to give this one a, a 4.2 rating for me. I'm not sure what others have rated it as. I just know that it was 91%, um, 91 points on the tasting scale. But for me, yeah. I might even do like a 4.4 4 for this. It's really good. And it's just pairing very well with this Tatiana Groovy Blue stick. And the Groovy Blue is berry. So if you do not like a berry undertone, I would suggest not to get it. But it pairs very well with this jammy wine. And it's like, it's it, it's mouth watering. All of it is just like, it's, it's going so well together. And it has a nice long finish. The, the finish is, is, is a nice long finish. Mm. Really, really, really good. But I don't want to take up too much of your time. I hope that you have an amazing week, a fantastic week. Be safe. Wash your hands. Use your hand sanitizer. Stay away from the crazies because we all know that they are out there. I hope to see you guys on Friday when we come back and make a cocktail together. And yes, it will feature another wine. Um, I think that's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to put in my little wine stopper that my bonus daughter gave me. It says, home is where wine is. I love it. I'm putting it in there. That's the Klein Old Zinfandel 2018 is what we're having today. We are pairing it with this Tatiana Groovy Blue, which is a berry flip infused cigar. And I had chili for dinner, so it all goes well. And I also cook spaghetti because my husband doesn't eat chili, but he eats spaghetti. So I made spaghetti. That way I still have a great pairing. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I love you guys. Cheers. Please remember to subscribe, share, set those notifications so that you know when I come on. Let your friends and family know. And I have found Sulfite Free Wine, so I'll be doing some of those in March. This month, I think I'm going to stick with the Zinfandels. Zinfandels. I think I'm going to stick with those this month. And that's going to be our feature. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Be amazing. Do everything on purpose. I love you guys. And do not forget to wine that ash. Bye.